your style with brands you'll love at exceptional savings. That's Tanger Outlets. Let Tanger style your life for less. Shop inspired. Shop for style. Shop for life at Tanger Outlets. Cons Home Plus is celebrating our 8th Phoenix location with 0% interest for 36 months plus 100% free next day delivery. Go to cons.com to apply for your Yes Money financing. Then get to the new Cons Home Plus in Phoenix. Let's face it, going to the dentist can be... cleaning for just $59. Call today to find out just how gentle dental can be. Call 480-868-2164. That's 480-868-2164. Live from Fox Studios, Fox 10 News is back. Four people stabbed on This just happens to coincide with Egyptian New Year. Oh, that's right. What a coincidence. Maybe. All I'm saying is let's be cautious. Oh. If anything ever happened to you, I would never... He was a student at the school, but it's not clear what his motive was. Well, it seems like this is becoming a familiar sight. An unruly passenger forcing a commercial jet to make an unscheduled landing. In just the past few weeks, at least two flights have been diverted to Phoenix because of this. And this flight originated in Phoenix, this one. Last night, the American Airlines flight departed from Phoenix, had to make an emergency landing because of an unruly passenger. That, that plane was diverted to Wichita, Kansas, so the passenger could be removed. 38-year-old Jason Bartoletti was arrested after he threatened to bring the plane down. That will get people's attention. Court documents say an argument escalated when Bartoletti was told that he could not smoke an e-cigarette during the flight. Now, New York indie rock band, the Augustines, they were on the plane. One of the band members shared this photo on Twitter showing airport police standing in the aisle at the ready. A flight attendant we spoke with says mental illness and rude behavior may be to blame for the increase in these incidents. There's a very hot trend that involves passenger uh, mental instability. And the flying public these days is a little less considerate and friendly than they used to be. Bartoletti was arrested in Wichita on a federal count of criminal threat. The other passengers were eventually able to make it to New York City, their original destination. In a developing story, new details on a man shot in... If you work for Johnny, I was going to pay him back on Tuesday. I don't know any Johnny. We're looking for the bracelet of Anubis. Oh, good. Good for you. Good thing to have the old bracelet of Anubis. Where is it? Ah. Uh... Shot and killed him. Police are still looking for that shooter. Anybody with information is asked to call police or silent witness. A Glendale woman behind bars tonight accused in a despicable crime, stealing tens of thousands of dollars from a Valley Cancer charity. Melissa Tatal was booked into the 4th Avenue jail this afternoon. The Attorney General's office says she... Hello. Hello. Where's your wife? My wife? Oh, you mean Evie? Uh, well, I think she went off to Baden-Baden or Tibet or something. The girl's a free spirit. Did I mention I was single now? Firefighters battling a one... It's downstairs. There's a safe. The combination is... In Joe Max earlier today, firefighters are having a tough time putting this one out. They can't get enough water onto the flames. No structures are being threatened. Right now, it's unclear how this fire started. A huge traffic jam during morning rush hour after a semi crashes where I-10 meets the I-17. DPS says a semi braked suddenly, causing it to jackknife. A fuel tank ruptured, spilling about 100 gallons of diesel fuel. The freeway was closed for hours while crews cleaned up the mess. 
but it is back open tonight. Dozens of agencies gather to practice their response to an earthquake here in Arizona. Of course, this comes just a few days after Sunday night's earthquakes shook the valley in parts of Arizona. More than 75 state, federal, and private agencies participated in this exercise, responding to a 7.0 earthquake. This drill was to make sure that all the agencies had plans in place in case of such an earthquake. New at 9, there's nothing quite like watching kid chefs whip up an incredible meal. It's pretty cool. The hit Fox show, Master Chef Junior, premieres on Friday. It's one of my favorite shows on TV, and this season you can watch three Valley children compete in the kitchen. And tonight, Fox 10's Marcy Jones talked with one of those kids, a 12-year-old girl from Phoenix, who really knows her way around the kitchen quite she well. She really does, it's you pretty guys. Cool. And this is kind of cool because we've never had a Valley kid on the show before, and now we have three. Yeah. So my inner kid really got to come out today. Not only did I get to meet Vivian, I also got to cook with her, or rather watch her in awe. But I did learn that the sixth grader has no secret ingredient, just pure talent. Like most great discoveries, 12-year-old Vivian Stitch found her knack for cooking by accident. Just ask her sous chef, also known as mom. Okay, I can do that. I have a cookie swap thing that I do every year. It's so competitive. We start six months in advance trying to figure out how to beat each other out with new recipes. And a couple of years ago, she said, Mom, can I enter? I'm like, sure, go for it. And she won. <laughs> you're like, you'll be in the kids category. And then she right. takes home the bride. Right. I'm like, take it easy on her. She's a kid. <laughs> Blew everyone out of the water. <laughs> but little did Vivian know competing against cookie baking mothers would be a piece of cake compared to other preteens on MasterChef Junior. Being on MasterChef Junior was definitely very exciting. It was a great experience. It was stressful though. Uh with the time and trying to do your best, cooking for the best. As a straight A student in an advanced school, Vivian says she's learned the most important lessons inside the kitchen, like getting along with her fellow contestants. We all became extremely close friends, and I feel like it, when you're with them 24-7, it really bonds you. These days, you can still find the mother-daughter duo cooking up a storm, but their conversations include a few more characters, like celebrity chef Gordon Ramsay. I couldn't believe how buff Gordon was in, in, in real life. I love it. It doesn't show so much on television, but he's... People should know. He, they should know. Yes, Gordon he is, is buff. Yeah, yeah. He, I love it. That's what mom is taking away from the competition. <laughs> Tomorrow, we'll speak to the other Valley contestants, Corey and Alexander, and you can catch all three of them on MasterChef Junior premiere right here on Fox Friday night at 7. Reporting live, Marcy Jones, Fox 10 News. Well, the music's fitting because this one might be perfect for the Scooby-Doo gang to solve. A different kind of mystery machine found in Mesa. This is one that has many people simply scratching their heads. Nobody knows quite what to make of it. So, what is this thing? <laughs> hmm. It looks like some type of gear to me, but I don't know. Uh, one day it just appeared on the side of the road in Northeast Mesa. And now officials are not only trying to figure out what this is, they're also trying to figure out who it belongs to. So if it's yours, call somebody. Call for help. <laughs> the half-ton contraption was found in September on the north side of McKellips Road, just west of the Higley intersection. So maybe that'll jog some memories. City workers used a crane to remove it. I mean, this thing is a... I wonder if somebody dumped it. They didn't want it anymore. <laughs> That's always possible. <laughs> they took a crane to remove it, and they brought it to this yard. The piece of equipment appears to be custom-made. I mean, I've been around heavy equipment all my life, but this is some type of a machinist-type object, and I just don't know much about it. Oh, my conspiracy theorist over here. <laughs> you think somebody just dumped it on the side of the road and didn't yeah, want it anymore? It's expensive to get rid of a thousand pounds of stuff. <laughs> wow. I'm All right. This is a legal dumping, Carrie. We've got a whole new story if that's the case. <laughs> so if this machine belongs to you, come pick it up. Carrie will not press any charges. <laughs> We've got the contact information posted on our Facebook page and our website. I wonder if there'll be a fine when you pick it up. <laughs> well, well, now you've discouraged anyone from coming forward. Thank you. Everyone's in the Witness Protection Program. You can go to fox10phoenix.com. Nice work. Uh, that was my conspiracy theorist that I was sharing with you, John. <laughs> Coming up, an officer once lauded a hero, now being called a liar and a thief. Why well, investigators say this officer staged his own death.
When celebs break up, hook up, screw up, sh Why don't you just leave it? Or you could sell it on Let Go. Hey, I saw your post about the sleeping bag. I'll take it. It's time to snap, post, chat, and sell. It's time to let go. In game one of the World Series, Lorenzo Cain stole a bit.